Hey guys, how are we today? Um, I do have to apologise for being away for a while. I've been um, busy with school and exams and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I do apologise, but I will be getting back into the swing of things as I am on holidays now. And as you can see, I've got my iPhone here again. And I'm going to sh be showing you a tweak called Full Screen uh, Full Safari, which is, as you saw in the new iOS 6 um, beta release, um, I don't know if you've all seen it, but um, if you haven't, go check it out. It is really exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to the iOS 6. Um, but the iOS 6 is bringing a full screen option um, to Safari. So if you're looking at pictures on Safari or something and you need it to be full screen or you would like it to be full screen or you're reading something, um, there's like a little toggle button and it gets rid of the little bar at the top and at the, the status bar on the top and the the buttons bar. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's um, head into settings here. Um, and as you can see here, if I scroll down, I have um, full screen for Safari. So I tap on that. Um, and it will come up like this. Uh, the first thing we'll go through is gestures. Um, <clears throat> two finger swipe. You've got all these different gestures. Two finger swipe, three finger swipes, one finger tap, and short hold. And the list just goes on and on. Um, so if I go into two finger double tap, you can see there's lots of different actions you can do. Um, at the moment I've got that as toggle full screen mode. But you guys can have a little play around with this. <clears throat> um, sorry about that. Um, so there's lots of actions as you can see. So just have a play around with them all and see what they all do. So if I go back, you can also yeah, have different ones. The action pop up. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this does. Um, just tap on a field and select different action. Right. And I guess so you can pick private browsing. Alright, so you just change this thing. Changes, so if I go tab forward, change it to tab forward. Um, Alright, so you, now you've got your options. Um, start in full screen mode. Um, basically, that's just pretty straightforward. You start in the full screen mode without your status bar and everything. When you open Safari, um, keep the status bar. Um, so... I'll show you in a minute. I'll go through all of these um, when I open Safari. That's just to keep the status bar and only get rid of the buttons down the bottom. Um, transparent button bar. So it makes it, it's not 100% transparent, but it makes it sort of um, semi see through. Um, vibrate if gesture fails and wiggle, uh, wiggle if gesture fails. So up here, as you have gestures, um, you can have two swipes back. And for some reason that doesn't work with me, and that means, so instead of pressing the back button down the bottom, you can just swipe. Um, and these are just um, actions that happen if it doesn't work. Um, so mine happens all the time, and you've got your pop-up thing, so either blue or black. So we'll head over to Safari now. And as you can see, I've got the status bar up here, and I've got the button bar here. Um, so if I double tap with two fingers, that's my toggle, everything's gone. So it's just a clear um, way to scroll through your Safari page. And then if you want to bring it back, just use your toggle button again. Um, as you can see, this is the button bar, a button bar, and this is the status bar up here. So if I, if I go keep status bar, uh, we'll also go start in full screen. You see, as I come over here, uh, that didn't work. Uh, as you can see, I've got still got the status bar there. So if I bring it back, um, if I go here and I close Safari and open it, it should start in full screen mode. There you go. As you could see, that disappeared. Right, so that works alright. Um, as you can see, the status bar is still there, and um, that works fine. So then you just um, double tap, and it comes back. So 
If I go back into settings and I turn that one and that one off, I go to transparent button bar. As you can see, as it comes back, it's semi-transparent. I don't know how well it comes up on the um, screen there. I'll just wait for this to... There you go. Um, if I go over some writing, you can see the writing through the through the button bar. So that works pretty well, guys. Um, I really enjoyed it, the way it worked. I'll just bring that back. Um, and I really like this tweak. I... Um, it does. It works almost exactly the same, if not more, um, than what the iOS 6 um, full screen option gives you. Um, I'll show you the if gesture fails thing. So if I come here and I go like this, you, as you can see, it vibrates and it just uh, the whole screen wiggles. Um, I don't know why those gestures aren't working for me. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I do apologise for that. Um, I'm not sure why those gestures don't work, um, but hopefully they'll bring out a fix and they'll work for me soon. I right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can download this from the City Store. Forgot to mention that. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, catches.